while both Bartok and Kodai spent a fair amount of their time researching the roots of their music by traveling with primitive recording devices to villages all over that corner of Europe, mm. starting with, with Hungary, Hungary and Romania and Bulgaria and those areas. They, they nonetheless, they were very serious composers. And so they wanted to capture the flavor of that music, but they also knew that there was a kind of a rhythmic backbone mm. to it. And there are times when it is really very free, but other times when it shouldn't be so free. Jaj, már tizenöt éve, hogy árva vagyok, nincsen nekem senki, csak az útszeres helyes. So I'm kind of thinking of these in relation to each other, and then, yeah. and then these runs as like passion, and then, mm -hmm. I don't know, tenderness or something for the, like, Well, the these waves. ones, when you have a, it's very um, mournful. Mm. I've seen people... I've heard people do that. I think you can do that. It's kind of wailing. Whether you play it fingered or whether you just slide the finger back and forth. Could be either way. So when this one comes... Um, Hungarian rhythm. That's he passion out a very rhapsodic. Uh, that's where it's going. Okay, and then the sound that happens next, written Ponticello. Yeah. I want to share with you a trick that I learned a long time ago from a very great string quartet player, Robert Mann, of the Juilliard Quartet. And he showed me how he did it once. To play Ponticello, you don't play your bow this way, you turn the bow with the hair to the opposite side. And it doesn't leave the bridge. Can you try it? Very unnatural. It's very, very hard for the bow to move away from the bridge if you do that.
Thank you. 